I just found out that um, bigger YouTubers are stealing. Not too much going on in here besides this whatever. What you want? Alright, so I'm about to um I'm about to go ahead and get these um chop chain noodles out. Get these chop chain noodles out for Braden. Braden said he wants some noodles. So I'm about to get him these noodles. Me and him supposed to be making these. Supposed to be making the rest of these cookies. They're okay. Only thing about the first batch we made is um the top had to cook a little longer and since it's caramel in there it's the caramel in there you know caramel cook any longer cook too long get real tough kind of seem like it's gonna burn Chop chain noodles, Korean glass noodles. I may not be. Noodles, noodles, noodles. I'm about to make Brayden a little plate. Noodles, noodles, noodles. Got the um preheat is ready. The oven is ready. It's preheated. Like I said, we're gonna make some of these cookies. And when I made them the first time, the top was still too soft. So I had to cook them a little longer, but since it has caramel in it, you know, caramel cook any longer than what it needs to be, it can become, it didn't become real burnt, but it was like way too sticky, not gooey or anything like that. It was a little, it hardened a little bit, so, so that was a problem. But we're gonna bake these cookies. Waiting at the chop chop. Got six of them. Sea salted caramel and chocolate chip chunk on the way. 12 to 14 minutes to arrive at the oven. So, last time I put it high just so I can cook the top. So, I don't think it should be that high. It might cook too much on the top. So, we're gonna bring that rack down one level. And that should be perfect for it to cook evenly. All right. Now I'm about to put some rice on for dinner. So it can already be done. It is, what time is it? 2.40. Have that ready. First time trying these. Right after the um, cookie's done, I'm gonna throw these in there. Red Robin fries. Just gonna have some pizza rolls, man. Some real light lunch. Get us pizza rolls, Red Robin fries, and some cookies for afterwards. Yum, yum, yum. 
All right. Oh, guys. So the cookies are done. Yes, cookies are done. And I try to do them a little bit different. Let's see, see how the caramel just oozes out, and that's what I'm saying. It oozes out, and then it cooks a little longer. You know, I won't be buying this again. Cause the caramel just oozes out, but this time the caramel, see, like that one right there, the caramel is not as dark as it looks as it appears on the camera. But um. Uh, it's, yeah, those little pieces like that, you know, they get real hard. They were getting real hard on there. The chocolate chip chunk with the sea salted caramel. Right in, we don't need nothing out of there. Hold on, hold on, stop. So, the cookies came out well. Um, I just put the pizza rolls in the microwave instead since I got these wonderful smelling Red Robin already seasoned steak fries. Stick up, stick up, steak fries, smelling nice and good, looking nice and golden. Chop today. Lunch, but it's not enough. Let's see what these season fries talking about. You never had Red Robins before. I'm gonna have to go there. I see the commercials. It's not really around here. I think it might be. Somewhere in the radius of it, man. Good. Be, be able to put them in the oven? Tastes like that? I didn't put the right amount of, you know, a whole cup of ketchup, I mean, a whole cup of mayonnaise. Because I only had that little thing of barbecue sauce. I just, you know, did my own thing. So I'm going to try the sauce. Little one. Yeah. I did that the same day. I was like, okay, I pour some other pour and I'm like, why is that shit in the other one? I'm like, why you do that? That's good as fuck. Mmm, mayonnaise and barbecue sauce? Ben found the mailbox. We just finally got some mail out the mailbox. So Zia been looking for her check, um, waiting for her check, I should say, um, waiting for her check to hit the mailbox. And I figured that it would, you know, I told her that most likely if your mail does not come that Friday or um, whatever for her job, uh, you know, UPS was good when I was working for them. They'll um, next day, next day air. Of course, it's UPS. Yes, anyway, so you know it's a par parcel service. I don't know if that matters, but anyways, of course it's already there. So yeah, that's probably the reason why my um, the first check I ever got. You know, when you first work, sometimes you can get a check, where you know the banking and routing and stuff are you know is already good to go, so you can get that direct deposit. But anyways, she had to change hers from direct deposit to check just for this time and. Um, they finally, you know, it's, it's finally here. You know, she basically been getting aggravated about it. So it's finally here. Um, I'm gonna bring the mail. 
and I'm just tell her her check has it came yet. I knew the check. I knew it had been as soon as I seen it. You know, coming looking like this, I already knew. Yeah. Um, just yeah. by the way the paper looks. But this what we're gonna do is put it right here in my pouch one. where it can't be seen, and then I, I guess I'll have Brayden bring in the mail. You know, she gonna think. Come on, Brayden. She gonna think that she can get her mail. I just want to see what reaction she's gonna get. Now she's so ready to get this check so she can handle her business. See this? Yeah. We still have snow. It's, it's beautiful out here too. So that's going on that side. Our side is That's just too fucking late. Holy! Daddy. Daddy, mommy help him. No, it's okay. I'm mad as fuck now. Like, I'm. Hello? What, Brady? Hello, guys. I'll do this with mommy giving me. No, leaning up my mat. No mailbox. Hello. How many hours you got left? This one, mommy, 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 man. Yeah. You go until you call him. I'm going to call Grandma. Hello, oh, Grandma. Like something on there? Daddy, I'm Mommy, so mad. I'm in the mailbox. Okay. Brayden. Bye-bye. <laughs> he funny. He all on the thing. Bye-bye, boys. Mommy. Say, Grandma. Bye-bye. You have that for real? Because, like, don't, don't do that. Because you know I'm about to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wanna he wanna try to prank somebody, huh? He wanna try to prank somebody? Look, this my money he talking about. No, that ain't no prank, bro. Yeah. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> God. <laughs> pump on. Here. Take this camera. I don't even want to. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got a chip. 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 shit, nigga. That's why you ain't going with us. You ain't coming on a cabin trip. Well, I'm the, I'm the one that put the, the money up at the beginning, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I put the uh whatever the thing was. Now you put the what's that? Is the, you have to do the, that's the deposit. I did the deposit. What you did? What's the next step? I did the I did the deposit. You just doing the rest. 
Okay. But yeah, anyways, I knew that was your check because it was only three things in there. Let's carry on it, guys. But I didn't even see that part yet. But you know, checks, that's how I, th that's how I know you how you ain't catch it. Which then again, you never got a um a mail check before. You have? I just didn't look at your at your fucking well, body because I'm not worried about that shit. I'm looking at these two computer screens and then the one thing I get in the mail. But, but yeah, I ain't even really see the whole thing, but I had seen. Yeah. You know, checks be looking dip. They don't. They don't even put them in envelopes. So I already knew. I was like, the check is here. Cause I tell you, Zia, earlier when I looked. I like that though. They do, you're so right. I and I don't, I've never gotten a check from them. But so earlier, when I looked, when it wasn't there, yeah. you know, I was expecting not to be there. So you know what I did? That's all I did. I didn't even look like this in the mailbox. All I did was this, just put my hand in like, man, if it's there. No, you don't want to get yourself excited. So it's like, man, that shit there. I put my hand in there like, mm, it was there, it was there. And it wasn't there. And then this time I was like, I cracked that thing open. I seen a little corner of the little paper. I said, Mm -hmm, that's a check. They took, they took ninety dollars from my check just for taxes. Jeez. I had ninety dollars to get on my check specifically, remembering ninety dollars a few times. But anyways, I was gonna call her. I was gonna be like, yeah, the check here. I was gonna do it. I was gonna call her, but I was like, nah. nah I want to surprise her and be a little asshole. I was, I was like, no, I'm gonna surprise her. I'm just gonna go up there and surprise her. I was gonna actually just whip it out on you and give it to you. Then I was like, nah, let me go ahead, fuck with her. <laughs> so fuck you. I'm gonna go ahead and mess with her. Cause it, it make it it makes it even more exciting. See, now she's more excited. You know. I seen her going on Kelly.com though about the email they had, so I said, let me go yeah, ahead and whip it out real quick. Like, <laughs> you like, you about to call the snap up. Let me go ahead. Whip you this was out. Ready for me to say yes. <laughs> you <know? laughs> You wanted me to say yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell me about it? Brayden wasn't trying to go to the, he was trying to go up the hill. He was like, go that way. I was like, nah, man, we gotta go to the mailbox. He was like, um. I can't wait the, to catch this mailbox. He said the mail, waiting on this he money. said the mail not here. I said the mailman didn't come earlier. I gotta go to the dollar store um, without Brayden. Oh, I wanna go with you. <laughs> Literally just. Oh, I wanna go with you. <sighs> you know what that means, right? Yeah. Now it's my turn to go out and get out the house. I gotta go get my chick. Still ice out here. That's our house. Lighting up. I got a rant for y'all, but I need to get in the car first. Before I tell y'all what the fuck going on. You driving to me? I don't want to drive right now. Too mad. So there was no other place closer. That was the closest one. All right, y'all. So I just found out that um. Bigger YouTubers are stealing my content titles word for word and also the way that I do my videos. And I, you know, and the reason I say that is because I actually went back on their old videos just to see if like, maybe they didn't steal my stuff. You know what I'm saying? Giving them the benefit of the doubt. I can't even give them the benefit of the doubt because they literally didn't even have a video that looked nowhere near like mine. Now you all of a sudden wanna take or make videos that look exactly like mine. Why? It takes me so long to make my videos. It takes me so long to come up with them. And it took me so long to brand myself the way I did. So why are you stealing it from me? Why? I just don't get it. It would be different if they didn't take what I did word for word or didn't take what I did and literally do the same exact stuff. If that's not your wash day routine, that's not your wash day routine. So why would you take somebody else's and do the same exact stuff? What what sense does that make? And then on top of that, if you watch my channel, you know that sometimes I'll do like a, a mini series where I put out, Michael, watch out. I know, I'm trying to get over though. Okay, you can't get over. I know, they just stopped on their break because they was trying to get over there, but then they didn't. But 
you know, I put out two videos. I put out my wash day and then I put out a different video for the wash and go afterwards. So why, why do you have both of those videos? Why? How? Without, without even saying, oh, um, I saw this person's video and I felt like it was a good one. Or just shouting me out somewhere. Not even that, but like you took my entire, change your title. Change your title. I'm not a big YouTuber, so it's easy for this person to to take it from me. And they're not that big, but the fact that they are way bigger than me, like, yo, you fucked up because now the gang about to come out. How much they got? What they got like? 21k, yeah. and then the other person has like 48k, like 49k. Like I got only 6k, and I've just hit that shit from my videos that they are taking from me. Like, what the hell? That's what pisses me off the most. Like, as an artist, like, give credit where credit is due because I'm not gonna take your content and use it as my own. You don't do that. That's just something you don't do. That's like taking somebody's lyrics and not giving them the credit. It takes a lot to come up with YouTube videos. It takes a lot to film them. And it takes a lot to, shit, find the titles. And for somebody to literally take everything that I I did, like, it really pisses me off. And I'm not gonna, I'm damn sure not about to promote that person because I feel as if, if I did, okay, now, now she got all the views that I deserve. Like, what? So, yeah, this person literally took my whole entire routine and said it was their own. Like, what the fuck? So at this point, I'm pissed. Um, I've had a bad day so far and I've cried already a few times not over the videos I got mad as fuck over the videos but like today has not been a good day but I just gotta keep pushing because right now I have the best I, I really want to make a video and just go in on this person but I'm not gonna do that because their videos suck anyway so it doesn't fucking matter but right now I'm headed to this fucking check cashing place to cash a check from my job that I couldn't cash at a regular cashing place so I cried about that shit because I couldn't get my fucking money and it's already late it's supposed to come Friday so we didn't have money all weekend it snowed y'all like this whole ordeal has really been like irking me like today has just been a horrible day and i'm just ready to literally lay in my bed and go to sleep but i have so much to do i have to edit videos for the rest of the night i got off my got off of my daytime job just to go to my nighttime job which is youtube and don't get me wrong i love youtube to death but i really hate people stealing my shit like be original y'all and I, I even looked it up. There are a lot of bigger YouTubers still in smaller YouTubers content. And that's not right on any level. Because regardless of your following, the work that you put into your art and your craft is something that another person shouldn't take for granted and try to steal from that see, person. You take cash and place right there. Wanna see if we can go there? It says Western Union. We could try it, it's still on the way. So yeah, I'm I'm really like at this little point where I just want to um, flip my shit and I really wanted to comment on this person's video and say, oh, nice seeing my title and my video go down really well for you because literally they have 95K and on their other videos, they have nothing. I have more views than them and I'm smaller. So I'm confused. I really am like, I'm just... I'm completely dumbfounded right now. Um, I'm pissed off. And uh, I don't know. I just haven't had somebody steal my content completely and take it as their own. Like, that's just crazy to me. Like, what? Ain't, girl, get your own clout because you ain't got, you ain't about, you ain't about to take mine.